Back in Manaus, in an area where the jungle meets the suburbs, I met up with scientist Professor Alessandra Nava, who was out hunting bats. Para colocar as mistnets, então a gente deixa bem esticado. So Alessandra has a really cool job. She's a virus hunter. Quando ficar um pouco mais de noite, nós abrimos para os morcegos poderem cair. Whether you think COVID-19 came from a lab or the wild, it's likely the virus originated in bats and jumped between species to infect humans. Alessandra fears something similar could happen somewhere in the Amazon. She's trying to stop an outbreak. So now we leave? Yes. Because the bats aren't going to come while we're here, are mm -hmm. they? Man, this is bonkers. Just a few steps, you leave the incredible biodiversity of the rainforest and you're into the mad world of humanity. And there are millions of places like this around the planet now where humans live in such close proximity with really wild nature. And of course that's wonderful in many ways, but it also creates profound risks. In a makeshift lab in a house on the edge of the jungle, Alessandra's team check the bats for any new or nasty disease that could infect humans. They need to avoid any cross infection. Isso desse respirador porque pelo perigo, né, do realmente de passar qualquer coisa para eles, né? Então a gente tem que tomar bastante cuidado. So we're going to check the nets. There are scores of so-called zoonotic diseases okay. that jump and spread from okay. animals to humans, including Ebola and Nipah, as well as COVID-19. Nothing in this one. There's a bat here, look. There's another one here as well. Alessandra, what, what type of bat is it? Do you know? This is Artibeus. Artibeus Obscurus. It's interesting. What is it about bats? Is there something special about them that means they pose a greater threat to humans? They're good reservatories for many diseases. So they são como sentinelas para nós, para sab nós sabermos quais os seus patógenos, né, quais virais, até para saber que estão circulando na população. Oh, a bit of a distance away now. now. Zoonotic diseases have been with us almost forever, really. Measles is thought to have jumped into humans from cattle thousands of years ago, but as we encroach ever further into the rainforest in particular now, more zoonotic diseases are emerging. It's the sheer numbers of people living, farming, working near exotic and wonderful wildlife in rainforests or on the edge of them that creates more risk of cross infection, perhaps from a bat pooing on food or even an animal bite. It's feared our increasing encroachment into the rainforest could lead to a rise in these zoonotic diseases and new pandemics.